In the world of film, there's always been a quest for the truth, whether it be in the form of visually accurate depiction or historically precise retellings. But what if there's something more? What if filmmakers could create a performance of the truth, a performance of the real? While documentaries are often seen as the most real of films, every film, whether it be a documentary or a fictional feature, contains elements of both truth and fiction. The real question then becomes, what is real in film? And how can we represent it? The director of Alcaraz takes a unique approach to this question. Incorporating performance and storytelling to create a truly performative interpretation of reality. It's not about reproducing reality, but rather producing it. Through this lens, reality becomes not just an objective fact, but a subjective experience. One that's influenced by the presence and movement of the filmmaker and the crew. Even something as seemingly uncontrollable as the wind or the presence of wild animals can add to the performance of reality on screen. The beauty of spontaneity and raw emotions of untrained actors all add to the complex relationship between reality and the imagination that Alcaraz explores. When you watch a film, consider not just what's on the screen, but also the performance of reality behind it. Reality is more than what meets the eye. It is a boundary that separates what we can see from what we can only imagine. And that's where things get interesting. According to philosopher Slavoj Žižek, the reality is not just a fixed entity, but something that evolves with purpose and meaning. In film Alcaraz, this idea takes on a performative twist. The filmmaker is not simply reporting on reality, but actively producing it. Their subjective gaze becomes part of what we can perceive as real. And in turn, the presence of the film crew can even influence the actions of their subjects. This dance between reality and subjectivity it was makes filmmaking such a powerful art form, in my opinion. A simple gust of wind or a pack of wild rabbits can add unexpected beauty to a scene, and the raw emotions of, a, of untrained actors can create moments of true spontaneity. So next time we watch a movie, we should remember that what we are seeing is not just the window into create the reality, it is actually carefully crafted performance that blurs the line between what's fiction and what's fact. Witnessing a genuine interaction between a grandmother and granddaughter is a rare and beautiful moment that cannot be replicated. But even in their authenticity, they're aware of the camera's presence and put on a bit of a show. It is, it is a delicate balance between naturalism and performance. Children at play are always captivating to watch. And the way they perform for the camera is both impressive and entertaining. As we observe their carefully play, we are reminded of our own childhoods. Their performance may be carefully constructed, but it's still a reflection of their true selves. The power of cinema is in full display in this film. As the filmmakers create a mesmerizing scene with minimal elements, the setting is not the grand club, but instead a play that is true to the characters' lives. The combination of reality and staged elements create a poetic effect, and the protagonist's natural reaction to her sister mishap adds to the scene's authenticity. This is a masterful example of manipulating reality to uncover the truth, without any need to overt political commentary. This film creates a strong dynamic with a mix of reality and framing elements that way that manipulate reality in such way that the truth inevitably unfolds.